Meet and mingle with local Team USA Schemo racers today in Frisco. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, an East Coast family with Summit County ties faces an international manslaughter case, one that now has the president's attention on Twitter. The Summit Daily reports on the Hapgood family of Connecticut with a second home in Breckenridge. The family was on a Caribbean vacation this April when a man allegedly entered their room and threatened to rob them at knife point. Father Scott Hapgood subdued him until police arrived and the alleged robber laid died, putting Hapgood on trial for manslaughter. Island locals say the American family's version of events does not add up, but they've got Donald Trump's support through a tweet saying something looks and sounds very wrong after an autopsy showing the deceased man was drunk and high. Ski Mountaineering makes its Olympic debut this season at the 2020 Winter Youth Olympics in Switzerland, and the high alpine sport could soon appear at the 2026 Games in Milan Cortina. Youth and adult athletes on the U.S. Skimo team live right here in Summit, and today you get to hang out with them in Frisco and learn more about the sport. The Summit Skimo Club kicks off the season at Frisco Nordic Center starting 6.30 p.m. That's today, 6.30 at Frisco Nordic. A truck towing a trailer drove straight off the side of Independence Pass over the weekend. This from the Aspen Times, the driver was uninjured in that accident when his brand new Chevy truck tumbled down the embankment near a winter closure gate on the Aspen side of the pass. No drugs or alcohol were involved. He was attempting to back up the trailer to load a motorcycle. One wrong button sent thousands of Garfield County residents to shelter yesterday when a county alert meant for one neighborhood went to dozens of them. The Post Independent reports a shelter-in-place emergency message was meant for about 60 residents in Battlement Mesa, but instead it went to 7,800 residents as far as Rifle and Silt, 26 miles away. That mistake happened when county staff did not limit the alert by geography, spreading confusion through half the county. In Summit, the SC alert system works in a similar way with alerts based on where you live and where your phone is right now. What do you prefer, beef or chicken? Hey, where's the beef? If you're like most Americans, the original white meat is your animal protein of choice, ahead of beef, pork, and turkey. This from CNN Business, the average American consumes 97 pounds of chicken per year. That's three times more than in the late 60s, while beef consumption has dropped since then, from 95 to 56 pounds per year. Americans eat 52 pounds of pork annually and 16 pounds of turkey. Local fire danger is high today. Still with stage one restrictions, fires are banned in the backcountry. The Summit County shooting range in Dillon is closed now, open again tomorrow at 7 a.m. In roadwork news, CDOT is milling and paving on westbound I-70 this week with single lane closures throughout the day. Expect delays from Frisco to Copper, especially at rush hour. In sports, the Avalanche played the Penguins tonight at 5 p.m. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency. Summit High Boys Soccer tied with Glenwood yesterday, 1-1 to in two overtimes. That's their first tie of the season. All preps teams are off today, back tomorrow with soccer, volleyball, and cross country. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.